Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, it's been a long time since I've updated the video on this channel. I'm hoping going forward this will be a lot more straightforward uh, doing this. So we're picking up with a game that, well it's a remake of a game that I had on the, on the old uh, original Game Boy, which is uh, Metroid Samus Returns. This is a remake of Metroid 2. Uh, I've not actually got around to playing this yet, so I figured why not record it and get back into the swing of things. So let's just start. So, okay, um, it's not someone else's save file there, so let's just, oh, nothing's been done. Let's start a new file anyway. Okay, what's this going on? In the year 20x5, the Cosmic Calendar. Um, a Galactic Federation research team discovered an unknown life form on the planet 5R38B. While they were while they were able to successfully obtain a living sample, their research vessel was attacked by space pirates during their voyage home. Ah, oh, the music sounds sick. Uh, this attack was no coincidence. The space pirates had set their sights on these mysterious organisms called Metroids. They plan to replicate the sample and exploit its ability to absorb the energy of any life form. Their intention was to use Metroids as a weapon, one powerful enough to conquer the entire galaxy. Never do that. That's always where things turn badly. Uh, to combat this threat, the Galactic Federation dispatched a lone bounty hunter to infiltrate the space pirate's base on the planet Zebes. Zebes or Zebes? Who knows? Against all odds, Samus Aaron eradicated the Metroids and uh, let's go with Zebes. Um, is that best? Zebes? Look at Zebes. Uh, on Zebes and defeated Mother Brain, the leader of the Space Pirates. And so. Uh, <clears throat> and so their sinister plans were, were thwarted for a time. Oh man, I love the build up of the music. Concerned by the developments and by the great threat to. By the great threat the Metroid species still pose to the galaxy, the Galactic Federation mounted another expedition to SR uh, 388. The 38B or 388? Um, a special squadron of elite soldiers from the Galactic Federation Police were dispatched to investigate. The team soon went missing, but not before transmitting a small sampling of data uh, back to headquarters. Alice of this data was confirmed to be a metro presence within the interior of the planet. Yeah, I don't, is that S? I don't know. Oh, my bad. It's not B. <laughs> I can barely read it on the screen. Uh, it's SR388. As long as they continue to exist, these Metroids will forever pose a devastating threat to the galaxy. The sorting decision of the Galactic Federation Council was immediate and unanimous. Samus Aaron, you must exterminate the Metroids once and for all. I like the build up. Because I remember uh, on the original game, I still have it here. If I, if I can get like a Super Metro, Super Game Boy, I might play it. Um, but yeah, so you just basically just started on the planet. There was no backstory. Um, for me, having never played the original Metroid that was on the Super Nintendo, I had no idea what I was doing. But it was really good fun. Um, and really hard, but it was worth it. Just to go through and see everything, what was, what was happening. So, let's see. Oh, wow. Damn, this is crazy. I actually can't wait for the Metro Primes coming out on the Switch now. <laughs> okay, so all the buttons. So I've got double jump. It's not a double jump. Right, okay. Right. So I have Circle Pad Pro. Let's see if this game makes use of that. It's insane. It's controls. Uh, looks like it doesn't. So I might actually remove my Circle Pad Pro. Because it's not necessary. So. Off you go to the side, there it is. Oh, bump the mic, that's not good. Rookie mistake, but that's fine. Okay. 
Missiles. Oh, this is new. Okay, so it's not really a double jump, but you can sort of like wall jump. Well, it's going back where I was before. Okay. sure what it is I'm absorbing. But... Oh wow there's 40 Metroids here. Okay. I, I don't I don't remember doing 40 before. Alright. That's gonna take some time to get used to but I can't seem to that purple stuff okay so that was one of the dudes there use your melee count alright ooh okay so X is melee So you do that for any contact, okay. I think I'm gonna die soon. Um to get my health back up to maximum. Alright, cool. Alright, so when they flash, I'm supposed to do it. It's kind of like a split second. Some stuff in the game won't make it that easy to employ. Oh. I'm supposed to... What does this do? Ooh. Oh, it restores ammo. Nice. So I'll get better with the timing on the orb. Oh, I can't roll yet. Okay, I have to remember that. Oh, there's a map there. Okay. So this should be a power-up, I think. If I remember correctly. The... Ooh. Oh, I think it's rollable. Yeah, morph ball. 
So I know she's known for it, but I think this is like when you first get it. Alright, so you do that to the morphle. Cool. Alright, you get the ability to do bombs afterwards. So if you've played Smash, that's a known thing that she does. Damn it. Just remembered. I'm gonna go through here. Head through here. Missile upgrade. Yeah. And it also refills it. So our 25 is now. I mean, 22 is now 25. So let's head down here. I think that's safe. Oops. I can save it over A, I'll do that. Okay, so we'll keep going for a couple more minutes because I think we're about 12 to 15 minutes in, something like that. A boss fight, or is this? Oh, maybe this is this. Oh, I might have to remember to come back here. I think that's the first power up of all the power ups. Oh, I doesn't like that. Hmm. I have to remember that one as well. Oh, <laughs> right. I have a feeling it's gonna be a boss fight here because there's those the squad people. What is this? I thought like that might be another ability. Uh, scan pulse. What does that do? Maybe it's going to tell me the bottom. And fuel special abilities like scan pulse, refill. Okay. Right, so it's mapped to the D pad. Something secret here. Read pulse. I think I've misread something. I thought it said to equip it with D pad, which I do you have. I'm confused. I'll come back to this later. I was really like impressed of how they've managed to just get this out here on the 3DS. Oh, Metroids. Okay, 
guess it's sort of that thin dry. We have an option sometimes. Okay. Is healing, which I think means some kind of come up to a boss. I actually can't remember. No, there's boss have, bosses have their own rooms. I think there's like a freeze ray you get. You can use these things as platforms at a later point. Okay, can't do anything there for now. stuff. Is this save? Yeah, save progress. Oh, that beeping before was Metroids. Right, okay. I'm with it now, I'm with it. Can't scan pulse. This is cool. Whoa. All right, okay, some, some rockets did it. Interesting. All right, so that did something. Definitely going back to that. So, counter, that counter melee. Was it in the original game? That's new. So, uh. I wonder what else have we done? <gasps> Energy tank. Yes. Always helpful. Okay, so I don't have the weapon. I'll fix that. that one. What are you? <gasps> Charge beam! We got that really early. I saw you had to do like a couple fights with, before. Um, dodge. Just hold it once. Power can be used. Charge corridors. Hold down Y and then let it go. Okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> cool. Yeah, they've made this way easier to find stuff in. Okay, so uh, what we're actually going to do is stop here for now um, and I will continue on in the next one. Thank you so much for checking this out. Uh, I'm hoping as we go through this. Um, yeah, we'll actually finish this. 
This is really cool. I really like what they've done with this. Um, at some point, we'll play the original. But for right now, we're going to leave it with this one. So, thank you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.